I'm Richard Donat, reading for the part of Samuel Gallup. I'm 6'3", 185 pounds. First scene. My name is Alice Burrows. This is my father, Samuel Gallup. My husband is minister of this congregation. Nice to meet you both. Captain, as you see, we're quite full today and there isn't enough seating for our regular members, some of whom are quite old. I noticed plenty of seats in our row. They can sit with us. It's not that. Are you asking us to leave? Of course not, unless you think it's best. Captain, your children, what are they? Certainly not Christian. They are as much or as little Christian as they choose to be. Their mother was misled by missionaries and believed wholeheartedly in their book until the day she died. Blast you and yours. Father, please. We prayed we'd seen the last boon. Why? So you could steal my cousin's land? Loot his home? This is hardly the place. I don't know what happened between you and my relatives, but neither myself or my children were part of it. We want nothing more than a fresh start here. We don't traffic with boons. Your seed is a plague on this town. Funny. My records show this building and every home in Preacher's Corners was built with boon timber. You obviously had no problem with my family when it suited you. <laughs> Second scene. Everyone, your attention please. Thank you all for the delicious food and for sharing. It's a wonderful way to remind us how very blessed we all are. I have some announcements to make, but first we have a guest who would like to say a few words. Mr. Boone, please. The room is yours. Are you mad? Thank you, Minister Burroughs. Thank you all for giving me a moment of your time. I did not come to Maine completely empty-handed. I came with a vision. I intend to expand production at the Boone Sawmill and use its lumber to build ships on the Androscoggin River. Within two years, this yard will produce a revolutionary form of cargo ship one with a steel hull powered by both sail and steam. Preacher's Corner ships will be the new standard in Atlantic transport, faster than any clipper at sea. What this means for this town and all of you is prosperity. He'll transport our wealth to his. Not true. This town will grow. I've seen roofs and roads in need of repair. Empty storefronts. All of that will change. We need work. And I need men. What diseases do those children of yours carry? More illness and misfortune. If it's illness you fear, we'll drain the marsh and purge mosquitoes. If, for my, if, if my forebears took advantage of this town, I won't. Don't let old prejudice impede progress. I need 50 men to start. I'll be taking names tomorrow, noon, outside the tavern. Good night. The third scene. I'm sorry for your troubles, but I am conducting business. Don't touch me. Leave us alone. Leave us all alone. Give up, Captain. You'll get no men here. No thanks to you. We don't want your blood money. Then I'll go to the next town, and the one after that if I have to, but I will find my men. We'll see about that. You're a fool. The only harm you do is to the people of this town. 